2019. This is the year I'm going to get organized. How many times have you said that to yourself, especially when you open up that crowded closet? Getting organized can be really overwhelming, but in this morning's 2021 refresh series, I chat with the owner of All Things Organized on how to do a professional job. You know, it's your stuff. It's very personal. Um, you spent money on it. People gave things to you. There's sentimental attachments to things. It's your stuff, and it's stuffed into closets, drawers, basements, and sometimes entire rooms. But with the growing trend of tidying up, professional organizers are sharing their secrets. What is bothering you the most? Like, what is just driving you crazy? Lauren Herzog owns All Things Organized. Sometimes I do recommend starting with smaller projects rather than taking on something like a basement or a garage or an attic. Like starting with that dreaded closet, but Lauren says people make a big mistake right off the bat. Often it's easier to thin out and edit your closet in any space after it's organized. So you may have five black blouses, but if they're all intermixed throughout your closet and you don't necessarily know that like each one you find, oh yeah, I wear that sometimes, I wear that sometimes. But when they're all lined up together and it's like, oh wow, I have five of these. These are the two I, that are gonna win when I get dressed. These three never, you know, I put it on, I take it off. So maybe it's time to go. To organize like a professional, group items together in the same category, then arrange by color. Everything should face the same direction and on matching hangers. How do you start to weed out what to keep, what to not keep? Is there some sort of flow chart in our minds we should keep in mind? I will ask is when is the last time you've used it um, or worn it or wanted to put your fingers on it and do something with it? And if another question I like to ask people is would you buy it today? Like if you saw this in the store, would you spend your money on it now? And if the answer is yes, they're probably gonna use it. I always fall into this trap too, where I start to see advertisements. I see pictures of a beautiful storage basket or container. And I think I need that for my space. And then I have a couple of glass containers I haven't even used yet. Is that a pitfall people fall into? What'll happen too is a lot of times people buy a whole bunch of baskets, bins, and then they just start putting their stuff in it because it's there and it's like, oh, here, this goes in here. And they're not really thinking about, do I want this? Am I going to use it? You know, is this adding value to my life? You know, not necessarily bring you joy, but does it belong? And if you have somewhere to put it right away, sometimes people skip the pare down process. She had so many other great tips. Here are a few of the others. She says, put everything in clear containers. So when you can see it, you know where it is, you know it exists, and that way you don't buy a duplicate. If you can't decide whether or not to get rid of an item, put it in a box, put that box in storage. If after six months you never went looking for it, you can get rid of it. And if you have sentimental items, Put those in a memory box to keep, but keep that box in storage. I know a lot of us fall into that pitfall too. And finally, hiring a professional is always an option. Lauren says, especially when it comes to a move or a major life change, that's when she starts to hear from clients. And another piece of advice, if Dave maybe a professional is not in your realm, she says, always having somebody else there, whether it's and not your spouse, not your significant other, having like a friend come over and help you decide, no, you, you know, no, you're never gonna use that, or yes, you are gonna use that, or yes, that looks great on you. She says that makes such a difference. Yeah, but Maureen, you know, there are some things that I threw away years ago that I wish I had back, and, and I heard her say that, get rid of stuff if you haven't used it in a while. What if it comes back in style? <laughs> well, Dave, there are things called stores. You can go buy the bell bottoms once again. I don't know. I mean, that's, you have to decide whether you want to keep it or you, you know, you have a cluttered closet or you get rid of it. That's true. Matt, have you ever heard of stores? You can go and, and get those things that, that you may have thrown away. I heard they're incredible. No, well, I was making some progress on trying to clean up and do things like that. And then two weeks ago, my mom sent me four massive tubs of stuff that I had when I was little. I mean, even third grade homework. And so now I've got to go through that and figure out what do I do with this? So as soon as you feel like you've got, you've made progress, there's always something more, it seems like. But 